Hi guys, how are we? I'm Mark from Treasure Hunt in Scotland. Wow, it's a bit of a stormy day here. We seem to have the backlash of a, a storm and uh, that's always a good thing. But yeah, today we're going to say a big thank you to Derek for this lovely bottle that he gave me. I think it's a ginger beer and it's of Gilbert Ray, property of Gilbert Ray, Dunfermline. Derek gave me this bottle and uh, we swapped some stuff <coughs> and it's trade, trade registration mark. Look at it, it's just an absolute beauty of a square ginger, isn't it? So Derek swapped me this, I just wanted to say a big thank you to Derek. In this video I'm going to show you how to clean up a flagon. I'm not going to generate it, I'm going to do it with a, a Comrie ginger beer bottle because it's much more rusty than corroded and I'm going to show you how to work it. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to show a flagon, uh, how to clean a flagon in this video and I'm going to show you this bottle that Derek gave me because I just want to say a thank you to him for uh, swapping me out. That's going into my collection. It's going to go up in the cabinet just now with my two big flagons that I found. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys uh, when we're cleaning the flagon. Well, hello guys. How are we? Welcome along to this video. I'm going to clean up two flagons that I've had off of a dump. I'm going to show you how to clean them up. Now, I'll give you a tip, right? See if you're going to do this, do this while your missus is out because she'll absolutely give you a good kick in her mouth if she catches you doing this in the house. And uh, you give them a bath. <laughs> you stick them in your bath. And just let them... I'm going to just put in a wee bit of washing up liquid and I'm going to clean both these flagons right up. If there's any dirt on them, what I'm going to do is use Genolite and I'm going to clean them. So yeah, so let's get these flagons a good clean. So well, basically this is me, I've washed them down now. Now, the one thing I did do with this flagon was I stuck it in the garage because I thought it was just blank. I didn't have anywhere to put it at the time. But now looking at it, it's actually got a hallmark on it. Can you maybe just see that in here? <laughs> it is actually stamped. So I should be able to find out when that was made, who made it and where it came from. Unbelievable. It just goes to show if you don't look at a flagon right, you can easily miss that little stamp. And that little stamp there tells me that that was made. This one here, I'm going to actually just leave them the way they are. They do need a little bit of Genolite work. You can see a light bit of crusty. It looks like crustacean. It's actually just from burning. Basically a bit of Genolite on that. Half an hour, 40 minutes. And really that should come out. This is my Morley flagon. This was the first named flagon I ever got. And this was the first flagon that I got. I didn't realise it actually had a Hallmark stamp on it. Because I don't know if that makes it. It doesn't make it worth a lot of money. I mean it's a nice flagon. They're never getting sold, they're going into my collection, that's why I've I've cleaned them up. And of course this is my Herman Savile, Botanic Brewers Morley, I found that in Andy's tip. Again that's got a little stamp as well. Best way to clean them up, I just use kind of medium to warm them with cold, and cold water, kind of in between temperature. Wash them down, once they're washed down, any red on it, get a bit of Genolite, put it on. i maybe do it for this video, maybe not. i maybe do it with the... The Comrie one because it's badly, uh, it's really badly rust. So I really want to try and get that off. So these are the two flagons that I got. And I hope you guys are just to show you how we clean these things up because a lot of people think it's just oh, dig them out the ground, woohoo, brilliant. It's not because they're still dirty, they have staining on them. And a little tip to get the staining off is just to use generally. It was one given to me by I think Stuart and Derek, and uh, yeah, it worked really well. So Let's work at these. In fact, I'll just work at this one now and I'll show you how the Genolite works and how it comes off. Well, basically, this is me. I've washed them down now. Now, the one thing I did do with this flagging was I stuck it in the garage because I thought it was just blank. I didn't have anywhere to put it at the time. But now looking at it, it's actually got a hallmark on it. Can you maybe just see that in here? <laughs> it is actually stamped. So I should be able to find out when that was made, who made it and where it came from. Unbelievable, it just goes to show if you don't look at a flagon right, you can easily miss that little stamp. And that little stamp there tells me that that was made. This one here, I'm going to actually just leave them the way they are. They do need a little bit of Genolite work. You can see a light bit of crusty, it looks like crustacean, it's actually just from burning. Basically a bit of gen a Genolite on that, half an hour, 40 minutes. And really that should come out. This is my Morley flagon, this was the first named flagon I ever got. And this was the first flagon that I got. I didn't realise it actually had a Hallmark stamp on it. Because I don't know if that makes it. It doesn't make it worth a lot of money. I mean, it's a nice flagon. They're never getting sold. They're going into my collection. That's why I've I've cleaned them up. And of course, this is my Herman Savile. Botanic Brewers Morley. I found that in Andy's tip. 
Again, that's got a little stamp as well. Best way to clean them up, I just use kind of medium to warm, like cold, cold and cold water, kind of in between temperature. Wash them down. Once I've washed down any red on it, get a bit of Jenny light, put it on. I maybe do it for this video, maybe not. I maybe do it with the, the Comrie one because it's badly, uh, it's really bad with rust. So I really want to try and get that off. So these are the two flagons that I got. And I hope you guys, it's just to show you how we clean these things up. Because a lot of people think it's just, oh, I dig them out of the ground. Woohoo, brilliant. It's not because they're still dirty. They have staining on them. And a little tip to get the staining off is just to use generally. It was one given to me by, I think, Stuart and Derek. And uh, yeah, it worked really well. So let's work at these. In fact, I'll just work at this one now. And I'll show you how the generally works and how it comes off. So yeah, I just want to talk. I do a lot of metal detecting as well. So as you can hear behind me, hopefully you'll hear this storm that's uh, battering Scotland at the moment for the next day or two. We've had lightning, we've got high winds. I hope you can hear it behind us uh, because that's a really good thing for us metal detectors and bottle digger because those stormy seas will batter the embankments and we'll go down and have some fun maybe on Friday or Thursday and see what we can find. We'll bring the XP Deus with us and, uh, and hopefully we'll have some bottle finds, clay pipe finds and little relics because they will batter the embankments over the next day or two and hopefully it should bring out loads of goodies. The best one was a couple of years ago when they battered the embankments and I got nearly 200 bottles out of the embankment so I am looking for good things when I get down here. So yeah, on that note guys, good luck, happy hunting and we'll catch you on another mudlarking adventure very soon. Bye for now.